The following video is a 3D flyover using Google Earth and the official tornado path made by the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Springfield, Missouri of the February 29th, 2012 Kimberling City Branson Kissy Mills tornado. According to the National Weather Service, this tornado formed over the waters of Table Rock Lake to the west of Kimberling City early in the morning on February 29th and it made landfall at approximately 1.13 in the morning. The landfall was made at Joe Bald Road, just west of Kimberling City. The National Weather Service estimates that this tornado's width was about 400 yards. They say it traveled 22 miles in a span of 19 minutes, moving at approximately 60 to 70 miles an hour at times. Here the tornado was rated at an EF1 as it once again gets ready to hit the waters of Table Rock Lake, but when it slams into Kimberling City, it ramps up to an EF2, probably ramping up over the flat waters of Table Rock Lake with less friction from the terrain. Now we're at an EF2. back over the water and heading eastbound towards Indian Point in Branson, again lowering in intensity because of the terrain most likely, the tornado now estimated at an intensity of EF1. Heading eastbound here over the terrain of Stone County, back over the waters of Table Rock Lake in just a second here, and with its target set right at Indian Point, the tornado now moving 60 to 70 miles an hour, making landfall along Indian Point, going across the little peninsula that is Indian Point, back over the waters of Table Rock Lake, now finally leaving Table Rock Lake for the last time, heading over the remainder of Stone County and crossing over into Taney County, getting ready to slam into Branson. At this point, wind speeds estimated at about an EF1 with this tornado as it sets its sight on downtown Branson on the Strip, heading for the Branson Strip. It makes its first strike on the Strip, slamming into the Blue Bayou Inn, causing extensive damage to the Blue Bayou Inn, as you can see here. It then continues eastbound, crossing Highway 76 for the first time, passing Andy's Frozen Custard, eastbound over the purple roof of the Best Western Center Point Inn, passing the Starlight Theater, heading eastbound very fast, paralleling Highway 76, getting ready to cross Highway 76 yet again, just targeting all of the businesses and theaters along the Highway 76 strip, passing the Andy Williams Theater just to the north. The Woody Track is just to the left of the tornado right now. Now getting ready to cross right over the Ride the Ducks parking lot where they store the duck boats and then slamming into Jubilee Market, tearing the roof apart and slamming the Jubilee parking lot with all of these rocks. Had this parking lot been full of shoppers and tourists and visitors, the statistics would have been a totally different story. Tornado then, now at an EF2 rating, heading eastbound right across the Walmart parking lot and setting its sights right on Taco Bell and TCBY, slamming into those two buildings, tearing both of those buildings up. The structures seeming to, to still be intact standing, but the roofs, the windows, many, many parts of these two buildings torn apart pretty bad. Tornado continuing to head eastbound now, again 60 to 70 miles an hour, a width of about 400 yards, slams right into the JR Motor Inn. The devastation here is very visible with these pictures. The JR Motor Inn just completely destroyed by this tornado as it slammed into it with speeds in the EF2 category. The tornado continues eastbound, heading towards downtown Branson and the Branson Landing. It now crosses over some residential areas heading right to the Dick Clark Legends Theater. As it does, it hits the Dick Clark and Legends Theater, causing some damage to the structure, to the roof. Notably in the parking lot where the center of the tornado passed over, it seemed to bend metal light posts like they were made out of soft plastic. 
At this stage, the tornado is estimated to be at an EF1. It continues to head eastbound towards downtown Branson, once again crossing over Highway 76. It heads over the top of a couple of hotels along Highway 76, getting ready to yet once again cross over Highway 76 as it heads eastbound. It does a lot of damage here on the other side of 76 to some residences along Cliff Drive. Still estimated only to be an EF1, but certainly at the higher end of EF1 as it gets ready to upgrade again to an EF2 right after crossing over Highway 65 and slamming into downtown Branson. Here in downtown Branson in the residential side of it, you can see the water tower, a lot of damage done next to that water tower with downed power lines, power poles on the ground, tree limbs snapped, and some damage to a lot of homes in this area along Pacific and downtown residential Branson. Beyond here, the tornado heads eastbound again at about 60 to 70 miles an hour. EF1 speeds rapidly ramping up to EF2 as it slams head-on into the Hilton in downtown Branson. This is probably one of the most notable pictures that we've seen in this whole event. The windows just blown out on all sides of this prominent landmark here in downtown Branson. After slamming into the Hilton, the tornado again at EF2 speeds continues to head eastbound 60 to 70 miles an hour right over the Branson Landing, right over Lake Tanicomo, slamming into the cliff upon which the Candlestick Restaurant Inn sit. Again, we're at EF2 speeds. Now the tornado right over Mount Branson, moving right over Mount Branson storage and some residential areas of Mount Branson and some light industrial warehouses as well, completely torn apart along Mount Branson. Tornado now getting ready to yet again cross over Highway 76, slamming into a housing development right here along Mount Branson. A lot of damage done to some of the roofs, some vehicles, trees snapped in half, winds again estimated at EF2 as it leaves this housing development and crosses into a memorial park, causing damage to the memorial park. As you can see here, some uprooted trees and some bent over street signs along the Memorial Park here along Highway 76. Tornado again crosses over Highway 76 into another housing development. This is the Cross Creek housing development behind Sunfest Market. The tornado initially causing heavy damage to a couple of homes right in the front of Cross Creek next to a man-made lake, heavily damaging the roofs of these two beautiful homes. This is a shot from behind the homes, looking over the man-made lake, the tornado tearing apart the homes on both sides, moving over this man-made lake and heading eastbound again, the path speed about 60 to 70 miles an hour, about 400 yards wide. Tornado again estimated uh, on the lower ends of EF2, now getting ready to ramp down to an EF1, but you really wouldn't notice it with the uh, damage that was done to some of these homes in Cross Creek as it continues over that man-made lake slamming into Cross Creek, just completely obliterating one home. This home received a lot of damage. The structure seems to be intact. All of the roof structure together, but a lot of the roof tiles torn apart, windows shattered, and most notably, and it's hard to hear you see here, you gotta look real close, there's a two by four that just went right into the side of that house. And that two by four came from this house here, which you can see was torn apart the worst because that tornado had nothing blocking it before it slammed into that house. Okay, out of Cross Creek, Eastbound now right over T Highway, heading east, continuing now, setting its sights on the lower side of Lake Tanicomo, possibly looking at Forsyth, but missing most of Forsyth, but heading now to Kissy Mills. It's down to EF1, but still causing heavy damage to this apartment complex right here. The Oakwood Apartments heavily damaged by this tornado. EF1 rating right now as it continues to head eastbound over a less populated part of Taney County, and that's a good thing. Ramping down as we back out just a little bit here. Something to note that's very interesting on the left. This is Lake Taney Como, and at the very left part you notice Power site dam, this tornado passing to within a few feet, few maybe a few hundred feet of this power site dam at a rating of EF1, thankfully missing a direct hit on the dam. Heading east now, getting ready to make its final crossing over Highway 76. Did we count how many times it passed over Highway 76? The tornado heading through, again, more rural parts of Taney County. 
getting ready to finally meet its demise near Kissy Mills as it gets ready now to cross right over Bull Shoals Lake. Okay, this tornado now crossing over Bull Shoals Lake, lower end of an EF1 rating, getting ready to completely fizzle out, which is good, heading eastbound into the Kissy Mills community on this side of Bull Shoals Lake. The tornado now in its final few minutes, maybe le the last minute of its life as it lifts off the ground right around Kissy Mills at the lower end of an EF1 rating. So that's a summary of the path. Again, this path generated by the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Springfield, overlaid on Google Earth with their 3D flyover view. This is a 3D flyover of the tornado path of the Leap Day Tornado 2012. It's called the Kimberling City Branson Kissy Mills Tornado. Thank you for watching.